what's up guys and welcome to this video I'm about to make about most smartest aka Tim from TikTok I contemplated on making this video um, you know he's done a lot of things that I disagree with a lot of things and knowing what I know now which is he said some disgusting nasty things about me um, outside of TikTok just trust me when I tell you that I know. Um, I can't share any more than that. I'm not going to share exactly what was said or the proof that I got. But just know that I've got the proof. Coupled with uh, all the things that went down in the last few weeks in regards to him. Um, you make me sick, bro. You're nasty. You're disgusting. You're as vile as Ashley is. You know, when you apologize to me, Timothy, in the live, the dual live we did, um, oh, the one where I hijacked your live, you said, um, you apologized and I said, actions speak louder than words, let's uh, see what you do in the next coming weeks, that'll dictate exactly whether I accept your apology or not, and um, yeah, those actions screamed real loud that I could never trust you as far as I could throw you. So without further ado, let's get into it. So why did I call her? Okay, um, because I'm a human being. And I, I, for a second, for that split second, I was like, okay, well, I feel bad. And let me show that I can be big enough to apologize to somebody I fucking hate. And then I'm just like, this bitch is faking it. Like, I... Let me stop you right there, bro. You didn't know she was faking it. Nobody knew to the next day. So don't act like your fucking instincts told you, oh, she's faking it. You organized the blackout, you broke the blackout, and all you did during your life was throw a bunch of excuses out there as to why we should all forgive you, and to me personally, they just weren't good enough, and to a lot of other people too. I cannot believe it, and, then, and also in the back of my mind, I think I was being a shady bitch, and was like, I'm going to interrupt her pity party, you know? Um, and it, all that did was make people talk about me and kind of take the focus away from her and that, that was shady as fuck of me I know that well, I gotta say I agree with you there uh, that was shady as fuck of you but um you know once again right here you're showing your true colors you wanted people to talk about you you wanted to throw your name in there you said it yourself and here in just a second you're gonna say it again and giving condolences was trying to get my way of just kind of putting my name in there to ruffle the feathers. And what did it do? It ruffled the feathers. They all started talking about me. And I mean, yeah, I, I, but I didn't call her. I left her a voice note. No, we were not cool on the low. That was the first time I had contacted her since that night she was in live about to pass out and I was worried about her. I mainly did it to be shady as hell and get my name thrown in on the live because it was going to ruffle feathers. Simple as that. It ended her pity party pretty much. It all became about me. It all became about me. It all became about me. All we have to do to take her down is stop watching. I get that I broke the blackout, but has would anybody else have been able to band this many people together to, to, to follow this? Because I know... Um, I, can't, I, mean, I can't listen to that right now. Um, sorry, lost my train of thought. Um, anybody that, anybody that's tried to organize something like this before has, has failed. Anybody gonna tell him? Oh, you want, you want me to? Okay. You failed, Timothy. You failed. This is the most this, is, this has gotten attention for. And now there are people trying to step in and take over from me. That is not going to happen. Nobody's trying to step in and take over your little blackout, Timmy. Um, people were asked to do so, um, but nobody wants to be associated with something that's got your name on it. And I have offered certain people a chance to speak to me one-on-one -on -one about the situation before they go live so they can get the full story. But no, no one wants to do that for the simple fact that they have their own narrative to spin. And y'all know I'm all about telling the truth and taking accountability, and I have never once not done so. Okay, Tim. Accountability? I'm not even going to discuss that. What I'm going to discuss, though, is about your little jab at me. Trying to say that you reached out to me before I went live. 
which you'll you say again later on in this little movie. But um, you never directly reached out to me, dude. You didn't make a comment. You didn't send a DM to me, and you were not blocked. You tried to use middlemen to get the message to me. That's ballless, cowardly bullshit right there. That I refuse to cry and let people think that that's I'm using it for pity. So we were closer than anything in this world. I didn't. I don't have other family really besides my uncle and my mom's sisters that we don't talk to. And I was fearing this moment in my life so much. And to have people question it and to have a certain creator continuously make jabs at me about my mother. And she didn't deserve that, my mother. I know she's up there now though. She's like, oh my God, I can't, oh my God, I can't believe I'm famous now. They were talking about my death. You know, she would have loved that it was such a big deal. But, um, let me call Ashley because I wanted to be a little shady and have, it's terrible to say, but you guys know I'm not going to lie. You know I'm not going to lie. I did that because I knew it was going to mess up her pity party. Simple as that. I mean, was it mean? Yeah. Was it Regina George's? Hell yeah. But you know what? She was lying. And I knew leaving that first message where I was, what I was leading to. I was leaving that first message so she was going to keep it and listen to it. And then I could say the things I wanted to say. Because once you have her hooked into listening to you in the beginning and you're saying nice things, she'll have to listen to the shitty things. So if y'all want to reach out, no, don't, don't reach out to her. But if you were trying to reach out to her and, and get through to her, you have to agree with her no matter what. Or be nice to her if you really want her to listen to the negative things you have to say. Oh, why did I call Ashley? Because I saw her using death as another form of cloud again after she did that with me. Because I was disgusted at the fact of what she was doing. And you guys, okay, y'all say I'm fake and two-faced. Y'all heard that fake, that fake part of me when I was like, giving my condolences. Like, I maybe meant it like a fraction of a bit, but you really think that I believed half that? That's what I'm saying. It was shady as hell of me to do. And I think it was a mix of both, feeling bad and being shady, and trying to get the focus taken off of her pity party. Simple as that, I mean, back fine. But you know what, if I had a chance to speak my truth yesterday before somebody decided to talk on what I did and why I did it without talking to me first, which it, you know, if you're going to talk about somebody and a creator and what they do, know your shit before you do so. You know, and I didn't post TikToks yesterday or go live because, first of all, I couldn't. And second of all, I was told by a certain somebody not to do it. And then I get crap for not doing so. So, you try to tell you that I would talk to you one on one. And if she did not tell you, I do not know why. But I said in that live, I would like to speak to you privately about, privately about this. Okay, and I'm, not, I'm human, I'm allowed to F up. I am mo far from perfect. And I at least apologize for my mistakes. And she hurt me in an unima unimaginable way, yeah. And I'm human, I, I don't know what else you guys want from me. I fucked up, that's all I can say. Like, I have not even been able to fully grieve yet because I'm so focused on trying to do the right thing and at this point I cannot care anymore. Not that I can't care anymore, but there's no much more I can do than what I've already said. And I'm talking to everybody. But okay, when I fuck up over and over again. I get it, yeah, I fuck up over and over again. It's thank you for rubbing that in. Nice Tim. Nice textbook example of gaslighting and deflecting you're sitting there say yeah I'm a human um, I'm allowed to F up sure we're all allowed to F up but do you learn from those F ups and those mistakes you make or do you continue to make the same mistakes over and over again and then ask for everybody's sympathy after you make them now you're about to see my comment where I say you're missing the point and you completely missed my point my point was I was telling you exactly why that I, along with many others, were pissed off at you because you continually make mistakes. 
you continually say I'm sorry but I'm sorry but this is my excuse for making that mistake but and I'm not yeah the word blackout means nothing now so therefore we just need to pull the plug at this point um, A lot more comments in this live there's a lot more to it I um, couldn't screen record it all my phone was full but um you know it's just the same old shit with you dude I'm sorry but let me tell you why you should accept my apology and um, couple that with uh, all the shit that you talked about me off of the app you know in private fuck you dude you're slimy grimy fucking belly slithering snake dude and now you're saying you know i know i fucked the black up the blackout up but um we need to just pull the plug on her and quit watching her that's not going to happen too many people are addicted to the train wreck um plus she's got supporters that are going to watch her anyway that's not going to get her off social media and another thing um you keep tooting your own horn saying how you got farther with anybody than anybody else with ashley that you what did you do you didn't do a fucking thing dude like except fuck up your own your own blackout um but I, maybe you weren't around at this point back on valentine's day um i did this unfollow thing with her and she lost about 700 followers on tiktok she wasn't even on youtube yet um of course she gained those 700 followers times two back within a week or two but uh i along with many others have tried and just like you, we all failed because reality TV sells, people love a good train wreck and a shit show. Um, why do you think all the reality TV shows on television do as well as they do? Because drama sells and she's full of drama. And I don't necessarily think y'all are in on it together. I just honestly think you both create a lot of the drama so you can insert yourself in it and then you can turn around and um, gain your clout and your views and your followers off of that. With that being said, thank you for watching my video guys and um, fuck you Tim.